an early age, John Edward displayed both a remarkable psychic ability and a hideous dentifrice. Join us as he reunites those in the physical world with those who have crossed over. Hello, welcome to Crossing Over. I'm John Edward. <laughs> on today's show, we are focusing on those who have crossed over, but who for some reason may still have a chip on their shoulder. <laughs> okay, someone has a connection to a, a J name, a Jerry or a Gary? My husband's name is, was Gary, but that starts with a G, not a J. And, and I need to acknowledge that your husband's spirit does not like to be corrected, and he's telling me that is just one of the many, many unattractive qualities that you have, <laughs> such as your face. He, he's showing me a, a bottle of scotch now. Is, is this significant? He was an alcoholic. He died of cirrhosis. Okay, again, your, your husband's spirit begs to differ. He says that alcohol did not kill him, but in fact it saved him from having to listen to your voice, which he describes as piercing and annoying, which I can verify here live. Yes, it, very piercing, very annoying, yes. Well, I, I, okay, uh, is he happier now? Uh, yes, uh, in fact, he's very popular in heaven. Uh, he does impressions of you being critical and questioning everything he does and says, and he even uses your scrotum-tightening tone, which he'd like to, to channel for you now, which I will. It... <laughs> I hope that was helpful. Okay, I need to acknowledge I'm being pulled in this direction. Somebody right here in this space has lost a, a parent, a, a mother? Yes, we, we did. It was so sudden, it was a car accident. Okay, I, I, I need to acknowledge that your mother did not drive that car into a wall on accident. She did it on purpose. <laughs> she was so young. She had everything to live for. Uh, she, she's indicating something like this with her, her hands. She, she's telling me to flip it over. Oh, these two L's represent her two sons, which she was ashamed of. They're both losers. I just got into college. I need to acknowledge that was just state school. And uh, as for you, my mother would like me to tell you that she can see you at all times. She's looking down on you, and you are masturbating way too much. <laughs> also, the two of you are in a band? Yeah. yeah. Uh, John Lennon was your hero? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's standing next to your mother right now. Oh, my God. And he would like me to tell you to both get out of the business. You have no talent. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. <laughs> Who here's a lousy lay? Uh, I'm being I'm being pulled in this direction, sir. You right there? How long has your wife been deceased? Uh, about a year. And I'm not a lousy lay. Your wife is. She would like me to acknowledge that she's making her, her hands like this, which I'm going to interpret as a zero. Yes, she's telling me that is correct. This is the number of orgasms you gave her. Zero. She had orgasms all the time. Now, now she's holding up an Oscar, <laughs> indicating that she was a very good actress. And, oh, I'm sorry, also she's, she's, doing, she's doing this, like she's operating a jackhammer, which I'm going to interpret as the way that you make love. <laughs> which, yes, she's telling me this is how you, how you did it with her. She'll be like pounding a hole into the pavement. Did she even love me? She's holding up her Oscar again. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that those closest to us were not that close to begin with might help in the process of grieving. I'm John Edward.